Becky Lynch has revealed she will not be appearing on tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. She's taken out all the WWE references from her Twitter account, blacked out her profile, and a new report suggests that her WWE contract is set to expire next year. Plenty of details on the future of the man in WWE. Also an update on WWE being in talks with ESPN now that they have been acquired by Endeavor. Really interesting story this plus have Ronda Rousey's post-WrestleMania 39 title plans been scrapped? Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of world wrestling entertainment and a really fascinating update on Becky Lynch for you this evening because Becky Lynch has got a lot of people talking about her today because of her social media activity and now there's an update on her future with WWE as well. So the April 17 edition of Monday Night Raw will be coming to us live from the Simmons Bank Arena in North Little Rock, Arkansas this evening and is set to feature Brock Lesnar and WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus as we inch closer to the Backlash Premium Live event on May 6th. However, one superstar who will apparently not be in attendance is former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, the man Becky Lynch. Early Monday afternoon, Lynch tweeted out a simple seven-word message saying, quote, I won't be coming to Raw today, end quote. With USA Network handle tweeting the eyes emoji 30 minutes after her initial tweet, shortly followed by Stratus responding with a tweet of her own, we'll get to that in just a second, it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume this is for storyline purposes. We do have an update actually on the reason behind this as well. That being said, we do not and likely will not know for sure until Raw airs later on this evening. In the meantime, Stratus of course has some explaining to do. Last week on Raw, Lita was attacked backstage and thus unable to defend her title alongside Lynch against Raquel Rodriguez. Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. Stratus then stepped up to take Lita's place, but after being pinned by Morgan to lose the titles, turned on Lynch before knocking her out with her signature chick kick. Last Monday marked the first time Lynch attempted to defend the tag team titles since winning them alongside Lita on the February 27 edition of Monday Night Raw, thanks in large part to a returning Stratus. That match then set up their WrestleMania 39 trio showdown against Damage Control, that being Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Technically, Lita herself never got to defend the championship and will undoubtedly be waiting an explanation tonight in Lynch's absence. Now, Trish Stratus, as I mentioned, has actually responded herself to the tweet, uh, which is quite interesting. In response to Lynch's tweet, Stratus took to Twitter to quote tweet with a video of Seth Rollins saying, goodbye, bitch. Of course, that being... So Seth Rollins being Becky Lynch's husband. Now, as for the reason for Lynch missing tonight, and not just about the sort of bigger pitch when it comes to Becky Lynch, but when it comes to tonight, um, it could be an actual reason as to why Becky Lynch isn't there. Um, uh, Tris, as I mentioned, is set to appear on tonight's show to explain her action, uh, actions, which led many to believing Lynch's tweet could be to set up an angle on the show, but that isn't the case, at least not this week. Per WRKD Wrestling, the reason that Becky Lynch will not be on tonight's show is due to her currently dealing with a minor injury. The tweet is to serve as a cover to play into the betrayal from last week's angle. Uh, when it comes to Becky Lynch's husband, Seth Freakin' Rollins, he will be on tonight's show in Little Rock as he's set to face off against the is but in terms of the wider picture and the general future of Becky Lynch and WWE this is where it gets interesting now it must be prefaced and it must be said Becky Lynch isn't going anywhere anytime soon at least not this year but next year things could get interesting for her future now, Sean Ross Sapp of Fight for Select has provided a really interesting update. Now, Becky Lynch has the wrestling world buzzing after tweeting that she wouldn't be at tonight's edition of Raw, that being the April 17 edition of the Red Brand Show, but she might be in store for some big-time money sooner rather than later. Becky Lynch, one of the top stars in pro wrestling and a WrestleMania main eventer, legitimately is not set to be at tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. When Fightful inquired within WWE, they were told that she was originally scheduled to be at Raw as of last Monday, but WWE sources had indicated that there are, quote, no issues to their knowledge between Becky Lynch and WWE. She's been dealing with a minor foot injury, which has been exacerbated recently. Of course, that kind of backs up what WRKD Wrestling was saying in that she's got a minor injury. It's a foot injury. It's been exacerbated recently. She doesn't have to be at Raw tonight because tonight's about Trish Stratus explaining the actions for turning on her last week. So Becky Lynch isn't going to be traveling. But what has got people talking, as I mentioned, is the nature of her taking or changing her name on Twitter, blacking out her profile. Several people thought that when Becky Lynch posted that tweet earlier on, they didn't even think it was actually her or from her account because she changed the name. 
with Lynch dropping her verification badge and changing her display name to her real name, that being Rebecca Quinn, many inquiries were made to Fightful about her current status with WWE. Fightful have been told that Lynch signed a brand new deal upon returning to the company in 2021. Of course, that was after giving birth to her and Seth Rollins' first child. And her time off for maternity leave is not a factor. Lynch signed a three-year deal that currently expires in June of 2024. So just over a year's time. So what, that's about maybe what? 14 months time, something like that, Becky Lynch's contract is going to be coming up. Thus far, WWE sources have told Fightful that the two have not entered negotiations for a new deal. There are several deals that are up in 2024, as WWE had signed much of the roster to four-year contracts then. At the time, WWE was signing and extending talent way before their expiration. So... It's going to be a story that grabs headlines because of what's happened today with Becky Lynch saying she's not going to be at Raw, blacking out her profile, taking out the WWE references, and then the news is her contract's expiring, but her contract's expiring in 14 months' time, and there will be a lot of people on the WWE roster who have contracts expiring next year, early next year, late this year. We know Drew McIntyre is one of them at the end of this year. Becky Lynch, we know, is now in the middle of next year, so... We have heard for quite a while that 2024 is going to be a big year for wrestling contracts, not just in WWE, but also in AEW. Of course, MGF, the bidding war of 2024, if you believe the AEW World Champion, that's when his contract expires as well. So really interesting one. But what do you think about Becky Lynch not being at Raw tonight? And what do you think about her contract future with WWE? Do you expect her to sign a new contract at some point in the future? Could she go anywhere else? Or could she maybe transition into Hollywood, into television or something like that? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, there's been so much talk, hasn't there, about WWE following uh, the acquisition by Endeavor and the subsequent merger with UFC. And obviously, UFC have a deal with ESPN, ESPN Plus, as a lot of their pay-per-view events. And many wondered, could we see WWE maybe work with ESPN in the future? Well, certainly, things are getting very interesting this year because we've also got media rights negotiations as well. The question of WWE's television rights following the news of the WWE-UFC merger have been a subject of speculation. And it seems a first first move for the post-merger WWE is in motion. According to PW Insider Elite, WWE is in talks with ESPN to collaborate on new projects moving forward. The biggest caveat being that, for the time being, these talks do not involve a weekly television series. Again, that's for the time being. A collaboration between WWE and ESPN wouldn't be the first for both of the companies as ESPN was airing classic WWE content in 2020. The relationship between the two ended after WWE's deal to migrate the WWE network to Peacock in 2021. Speculation at the time held that NBC Universal was a probable candidate for an eventual sale of WWE due to the large portion of WWE's content on various NBCU platforms. However, it seems with the WWE UFC merger that WWE may be looking to diversify its TV presence. WWE's TV rights with both NBCU and Fox are up next year. Reporting holds that WWE is open to all conversations on new television deals, barring somebody paying a lofty sum for exclu exclusive TV rights for the various WWE shows. Another interesting piece of information from the report is the news that WW that another promotion rather was in talks with ESPN despite AEW's recent deal with ESPN to air their programming in Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. It is confirmed that AEW is not the promotion in question. Which promotion was in talks with ESPN is unknown. But it can be assumed with WWE stepping back in those talks, those talks indeed could be in jeopardy. So an interesting one. Could you see WWE content airing once again on ESPN? Is this maybe one of the first real dominoes to fall when it comes to the WWE and UFC merger and the acquisition of WWE by Endeavor? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about that. And could we see possibly maybe Raw or SmackDown later on this year, or maybe next year rather, uh, on ESPN instead? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, Ronda Rousey, her plans have changed so much, haven't they, over the course of the last 12 months or so. It appears there have been more changes to the championship plans in WWE, and it comes around to the status of one talent. Ever since pre-WrestleMania, there had, be, had to be adjustments made, and it appears that that is still the case. After it was decided that Ronda Rousey wanted to enter the women's tag team division alongside Shayna Baszler instead of having singles title match at WrestleMania, the plan was for Rousey and Baszler to win the women's tag team championships at Mania 
itself. However, Rousey had suffered an arm injury, so instead, her and Baszler were part of the women's four-way tag match, which allowed Rousey to stay away from any actual action before she made Shotzi tap to win the match. Since they won, Rousey and Baszler, even though it wasn't actually officially a number one contenders tag team match, many assumed that it meant that Rousey and Baszler would eventually become tag team champions, or at least get a shot at the tag team championships. However, with Ronda Rousey still not being cleared for action, they weren't the first team to get a title shot. In fact, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez ended up winning the championships after WrestleMania, and now they have their own challenges. The new challengers aren't Rousey and Baszler, but the team of Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. Providing an update on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer confirmed that Rousey is still not cleared, hence why new teams keep jumping in front of her and Baszler in the line for the title match. He said, quote, Ronda's still not cleared, so they can't do the Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler thing, which was the plan. The Morgan and Rodriguez versus DeVille and Green title match is set for Friday's April 21st episode of SmackDown. WWE will no doubt want Rousey back in action for Backlash in Puerto Rico, and that will likely be where she returns if it is possible, but it's unknown right now if she'll be cleared in time. There's also been speculation on Shayna Baszler's status because it appeared during the WrestleMania match she might have injured her foot. So the tag team of Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey just feel a little bit snake bit at the moment, doesn't it? Certainly. But there you go, guys. It's the latest WWE news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe button right hand corner. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll speak for you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.